Place your hands above your head. Mark chapter 10, 16. Jesus blessed children by laying on his hands as we heard now. Now all the priests extending their hands over the students. Daniel received an excellent spirit. He became governor general in Persia. Did he study anything? But he received all the wisdom from God. By grace of God we have teachers, professors, instructors to give us knowledge. They are sharing the knowledge of Jesus. Knowledge comes from Jesus. That knowledge, what they have received, shared with you. But that is not enough. Jesus, the eternal teacher, should lay his hands on you so that you may get more than the wisdom that you received from your teacher's purposes. We all the priest in person of Christi, in the person of Jesus, extending our hands over you so that you may share an excellent spirit right now, a fresh anointing, a new anointing. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. Through the laying on our hands of Samuel, David received anointing. Through this laying on our hands, you may receive the spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of memory, and the spirit of tolerance, spirit of joy, spirit of friendship. The Lord may give you spirit of good health. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Kindly sit down, take off your hands also, and look to Jesus. And look to this century. The Lord gives you immense wisdom when you walk with Jesus. Lift up your hands like this. We have to walk with Jesus. Work with Jesus. Study with Jesus. Lifting up your hands. Thirdly, you have to pray with Jesus. And lastly, you have to rest with Jesus. So be with Jesus. Walk with Jesus. All of you repeat. We are here, we are here. to walk with Jesus. Jesus. To work with Jesus. Jesus. Pray with Jesus. Jesus. Rest with Jesus. Jesus. Because Jesus has shared his anointing with us. And we will enter. Enter. Into paradise. Into paradise. Into success. Into success. Lifting up your hands fully. So walk with Jesus. All of you repeat. Walk with Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Work with Jesus. Work with Jesus. Pray with Jesus. Pray with Jesus. Rest with Jesus. Rest with Jesus. Enter into success. Enter into success. If you believe, keep your hands down. So if you want to do these four things, only three things that you have to do. First one. Take the chaplet, go to your prayer room, ask Jesus whatever you want, then pray one chaplet. It takes only five minutes. What is the first step to walk or work with Jesus or rest with Jesus? Enter into your prayer room every day, do the personal prayer, ask to Jesus whatever you want. After that, what you have to do? One chaplet. Will you do it? You are entering into a good result. I am training you now. What is the second one? Attend to the Holy Mass whenever it is possible, especially on Sundays. Will you do it? Fresh anointing will come upon you. What is the third one? To walk with Jesus, to work with Jesus, to rest with Jesus, and also to pray with Jesus and enter into success. What do you have to do? Student Psalm. Third prayer, student psalm. Before study, after study. Before exam, after exam. Then you will enter into good success, good career, good family, good priesthood later. Some of you will be called to be priest. Some others will be called to be religious. Some of you called to become like prime ministers or chief ministers or chancellors or IS officers. There are possibilities according to the desire which God has implanted in us. We have to pray with Jesus that desire will be fulfilled. That desire is given from heaven. 
to become a doctor, to become a priest, to become a nun is all, or to become a politician. This desire is granted by God Almighty. With Jesus, you can achieve it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So hereafter, what we have to do to get wonderful success and faithfulness? Enter into your prayer room, personal prayer chaplet. What is the second one? Attending Holy Mass. Holy Mass. What is the last one? Student, Student Psalm. Psalm. Let us sing together right now. Offer to him and continue the Holy Mass. The Spirit of the Lord is moving over you. And what do you want to offer now? Intentions and prayers. Speak to Jesus now. Offer it on this altar. Whatever you ask now, that you will get it. Those who want to ask, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I give you one minute to ask. Ask what you want. What is your difficult subject? What is your difficult moment? And what you have a struggle? What is the blocks and bondage? What do you want to ask now? Three things please ask. Three. That will be granted. For this holy mass, just extend your hands towards the century. Three things you ask. Those who want the healing, ask. Good result, ask. Something else, ask. When you are asking is over, keep your hands down. That much asking is enough. Keep your hands down. Tomorrow we will ask more. Let us sing to the right now of a tree hymn. Brethren, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the May Lord, Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and glory of his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent us of a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We acclaim. Let's all clap our hands and sing Hosanna.
we are inviting the Holy Spirit upon this bread and wine and it will become the body and blood of Jesus. The same Spirit will come upon you and will be anointing you with a spirit of wisdom, spirit of insight, spirit that will help you to study well and always a good student in front of Jesus and in front of your teachers and parents. So bow your heart and pray within your heart and asking Holy Spirit come upon me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and indeed willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith is love, he is love, he has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Peter our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, one with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the same. 
Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Those who are not taking or receiving Holy Communion because of your age or no confession, no baptism, or not in communion with the Catholic Church, then you have to transfix your hands like this. But all of you have to join to the communion line, but worship Jesus. Bow down your head in front of the Eucharist, the, to the nearest counter. Just bow down your head like this and go back to your place. But all of you pray, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Now onwards, you may have a mental prayer, with that prayer, please come to the nearest place where we distribute Holy Communion and receive Jesus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All in the ears, please come and guide the priest towards the place where to distribute Holy Eucharist. All in the ears, please come near to the sanctuary, come forward. Especially our core group members, come forward. And other volunteers, guide the priest and disperse them into different places. Now all of you start praying and singing along with the choir. Just pray after me. Jesus, Jesus, Son of David, Son of David, come to my life. Come to my life. Jesus, Son of David, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Jesus, Jesus, Son of David, Son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. With that mental prayer, we take immediate preparation to receive Jesus.
personally when you attended the holy mass before that mass begins you have to ask a number of intentions to jesus directly before you begin chaplet the same thing you have to do talk to jesus then before you begin student psalm also talk to jesus then pray and always pray according to the promises in the bible that will be granted 8000 promises are there i am the god who healed thee there is a one promise i will send you the holy spirit upon you another promise what you are in need there is a corresponding promise in the bible that you have to find it out make it as a prayer and a conversation to jesus after that only you have to begin the holy mass or chaplet in your prayer room or student psalm find out the promises in the bible first you find out your need corresponding promise you have to find out from the bible then ask to jesus according to the promises 100 percentage that prayer will be answered all of you pray to jesus now directly jesus son of david have mercy on me let us sing together along with our choir